four screws on the back of your buddy heater and the battery compartment cover. If you can fit your fingers into the fan opening, that makes a pretty good handle to lift it straight up. These covers are on there pretty well, but just pull the bottom out and pull straight up at the top and it should pop right out of there. Once you get the rear panel off, you'll see where the D-cell batteries go. There's a green wire and a black wire. The green is positive and the black is negative. What we're going to do is we're just going to extend those so we can hook up to a regular rechargeable 6 volt battery that will be tucked away into one of the propane compartments. Simply snip the wire off and solder in an extension. And then at the end of the extension, we'll be soldering in the original blade connector that was on the back of the D-cell battery compartment. You just use the same procedure on the green wire and the black wire. If you'd like to wire in a power indicator LED for your switch, here's how. When you're looking at the base of an LED, you'll see that there's a slightly flat side, like right here. It's pretty hard to see on these tiny LEDs, but that flat side coincides with the negative leg of the LED. In order for an LED not to immediately burn out when you hook it up to 6 or 12 volts, you need to add a resistor to the positive terminal of the LED. When it's soldered into place, it should look like this. For the negative terminal, simply solder it right to the ground wire. Now solder the positive wire of the LED to the red wire coming out of the switch. Solder the negative wire coming out of the LED into the black wire coming out of the switch. This is how your completed wiring should look. The weight difference between the D-cell batteries and the 6-volt battery is about 6 to 7 ounces. I just use an industrial strength Velcro on the battery and I stash it into one of the propane cubbies. I run my Big Buddy on a line with a 5-pound tank so I don't use those cubbies anyway. Overall, this is a pretty simple mod, and the LED light, I think, will really help prevent me leaving the fan running. 